Hi everyone, welcome back to our small holding adventure. So on the back of our chicken tractor, which was a success, the chickens have been in it now about 10 days and they're doing great. I'll take you over and show you that at the end of this video. But I thought I'd make a quail tractor to get the quail outside on the garden to give them a bit of air and grass and sun, even though it's not sunny at the moment, but it will be by the time I've uh, built this, I'm sure. So I've already started building it, I'm halfway through, which I didn't video because to be honest, I didn't know how it was going to turn out. I didn't know where to start or what to do. I didn't know what timber I had. And I just came down, this is my little workshop I have, which is an absolute mess. So I didn't know what I had to build it. And it turns out I had six of these wooden doors here, which I got free off Marketplace on Facebook. Someone was throwing them out. So I went and picked them up. So I've built it up to now where I'm at, basically out of two of them and a bit of scrap plywood that I had left, which was off a different project. So I'll show you where I'm at at the minute, what I'm planning on doing, and I'll give you a quick run through of hopefully what it's going to turn out to be. Okay, so this is where I'm at at the minute. So the whole thing is 190 centimeters long because that's how long that's how tall the door was. These side panels, well, basically all the wood on it, it's all 3.5 centimeters square. It is just the side panels of the doors ripped in half and that's what they turned out to be. The width is 94 centimeters just because this piece of plywood that I had left was 67 centimeters square. Just cut down the diagonal to make two triangles. So that determined the width and then I just worked off that. So I've just supported it with some more 3.5 centimeter squares, supported it with a few little supports on the side to make it a bit more sturdy. So I'm gonna mesh the whole thing so it keeps it rat proof or as rat proof as we can. So I've already started with the bottom. So that's all meshed the bottom. The bottom is just gonna be like that. That's just gonna sit on the grass. It's gonna have no wood or anything on the bottom and it's gonna it goes up the side and then the whole of this side is going to be meshed meshed everywhere leaving a little opening in the back end for the housing area so the water and the food and everything will go in the housing area so it doesn't get wet in this side this will just be the run i've got a 15 centimeter door here which I've still got to make. But around the edges, I'm gonna use this feather board, feather edge board, which is just thin at that end and thick at that end so it all overlaps and keeps the rain off. So that's going to go up there and down the sides, down there. Because apparently the quails don't like drafty environment so if I leave it all open the draft gets through they're not very happy they won't lay eggs and then we won't get quail chicks so our first hatch of quail was a success I think we hatched 16 quail but we sold all them someone gave us a good price for them so we sold all them we just had another hatch of them which is 20 which I did make a quail brooder in one of my other videos which I've uh, modified a little bit because it didn't really work it was a bit dark well I'll take you in and show you that a bit later on but this is just for the adult quails to get them out get a bit of sun in the summer months and make them a little bit happier so let's get to finishing this off Okay, so there's the first side and the bottom finished. Check it out. So that's 
pretty good, pretty pleased with that. So even though I'm going to feather board the bottom, even if the rats chew through the board, they won't get through the mesh. So it's just a bit of double security for the little quail because they're a prey for everything. So we'll keep them as safe as we can. So right, let's go on with the next side. Okay, a slight error. Before I mesh this side, I forgot I've got this to fill in and a door to put on there to keep the quail safe and keep them safe at night. So I've got to get on with making that first before I can mesh this, I'll never be able to get in to do it. So all I'm going to make that out of is I'll just clad it in this bottom bit here in this thin plywood that I had lying around and then I'll feather board over it with the feather edge board. So I'll do that first, make the door, then I'll get on with meshing the side. So, got the first boards on. This is what I mean when I don't plan ahead or plan anything out. Now I've got to climb inside there because I've already got this mesh on and bloody screw it in from the inside, which I'm going to have to get in there and it's, it's not ideal, but we'll make it work. So now I'm going to feather board the edge of this. You don't really need to, but this is just to make it look a bit nicer for when it's finished. Feather board all this make a door, then I'll clad the edge, and then we'll work on the housing unit. Okay. Right, my phone ran out of battery, so I better get a cup of tea and I've put a door on, which is just a, as simple as it can be, piece of wood on a hinge with a piece of string tied to a screw on a hook. Just pull the hook, hook it over a bit of the, the other mesh, doors open on the night, undo the hook. And I'll just run a stick through the mesh, uh, through this mesh on this side, through the mesh on that side, and that'll just keep the door shut like that. Simple, easy, no messing about, and it should work a treat. So let's get on with finishing the rest of this. Oh, and I'll put a coat on because it's getting a bit nipply. Right, so that's all the mesh done. So every part of this now is fully meshed. Bottom, sides, top. The only bit that's not is this, where the door's gonna be, but it's gonna be featherboard and um, plywood board. So that's the only bit that's not gonna be meshed. But if you want to, you could mesh the inside of the door so if anything chews through the door, they get the mesh. I might even do that yet anyway, but I'll see how we get on. So we just need to featherboard this all up make it look pretty-ish, and then the job's finished.
right, there we go. One 95% completed quail tractor. Predator proof, draft proof quail tractor. So everything seems to be working at the minute. The door, little lifter door, hook it on there, that's fine. I'll put some wrap over hinges on here when I get some. I just don't have any long enough at the minute. I'll get some of them tomorrow or next week. And I'll put them on there. And then the door just lifts up like that. Get in, change the food, change the water. Everything's okay. All I'm gonna do is drill a little hole through there and through the other side to, to put this rod through just to keep the door shut when it's down on a knife. Well, it shouldn't need it. It's pretty secure and predator proof. So yeah, happy with that. I'll take you over now and show you how the chickens are getting on in the chicken tractor. So there's our chickens in the chicken tractor. As you can see, they've been in there about 10 days now. So there you can see we've moved them. One, two, three, four times. And where they were first are already starting to grow back. Probably better than it ever has. So that's 10 days worth. And move, probably move them again tomorrow. So we'll probably get another 10 days to the fence and then back up. So 20 days per strip. So by the time we get into about five strips, they should be ready to process all happy and healthy. They don't seem to mind this weather out here too much, but let's go inside and uh, we'll show you the quail and the brooder. Right, here's our baby quail. They're a week old now. And this is the brooder I made about three or four weeks ago. I made it for our other quail, which were only in it about three days and then they were sold. So it hasn't really been used. But when I did it, it was really dark. So I cut the whole section out there and meshed that to give them more light. I'll probably do the same again with this section. And they seem to be doing amazing. Like I said, they're a week old. They're already trying to start to fly. And this is my self-filling drinker, which I made because we didn't have a drinker to fit in the brooder. And it's working a treat. They need some more food at the minute, but yeah, they're doing fantastic. Another maybe week in here and then they'll be able to go outside into the bigger brooder outside. Right guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment uh, section below. And thanks for watching, stay safe.